Katie Schubert here, reporting from the Cornell Daily Sun, interviewing Sandra Hoff, junior on the soccer and hockey teams here at Cornell. Sandra, what have soccer and hockey meant to you over the course of your college career? I think um, being able to play both soccer and hockey here has really defined my experience at Cornell. And um, ever since I was growing up um, in high school, I sort of had this goal and dream of being able to play two Division One college sports. And I think uh, back then and even still now, like people always ask me, like, "Wow, like that's crazy! Like, how do you do that? Like, why do you do that?" Um, so I sort of get that question a lot. And I think. Um, I guess it comes down to two main things, like the first thing being that I basically couldn't choose between the two sports, like I think I just have a passion for both soccer and hockey, I couldn't imagine like giving one up and not being able to play one for the next like four years of my life and I think also a bigger part of it is like playing for the girls on both the teams that I'm a part of, I think um, <clears throat> the soccer team and the hockey team are both like very different and unique experiences. Um, you know, the soccer team, I sort of came in and it was the first group of girls I met in college and it was the first um, girls I really hung out with and spent a lot of time with. And I, like right away, some of those girls became some of my best friends that hopefully I'll like talk to for the rest of my life. And um, so I think being able to play like on a team with your best friends makes it so much more fun and worthwhile. And then, you know, on the other hand, I joined the hockey team like in late October in the middle of soccer. and. It was a completely different scene considering almost everyone on the team is from Canada, so that was a little bit different, but at the same time it was great and you know I sort of had to learn right away how to properly use a sentence with A at the end of it. You know I think at this point over half of our team is on the some form of Canadian national team and that's just incredible like having like being able to be a part of that every morning when we step on the ice it just pushes like being a part of um, all those incredible athletes, girls that, you know, like one day, girls that have played in the Olympics and one day will play in the Olympics. It's just such an honor to be out there with them. And I think it pushes me to play my best every time I step on the ice, so. Now, I understand that you kind of got off to a, maybe a little bit of a shaky start as a freshman. Describe your experience as a freshman on the soccer team. Um, well, I think when I came here as a freshman, as like my roommates and any of the girls on the soccer team will tell you, I was like, kind of a mess. I hadn't really figured everything out yet. Um, I guess it was just being on my own. I don't know. But um, I sort of, I was always, I was basically always late for everything. I was always running behind or like sprinting somewhere. I remember Meg Kroll and I, my roommate from freshman year, we'd like sprint to try and make the bus to go to practice. And if we didn't make the bus, which usually ended up happening, we'd end up just sprinting to practice. And I feel like I was always wearing like the wrong clothes and I just didn't understand the concept that like Practice at five meant you had to actually be there before five. You couldn't show up at five, and that kind of led to a lot of problems, especially with the coaching staff. So um, yeah, I wasn't always. I didn't exactly get off to the right start with that, unfortunately. And now explain your relationship with hockey strength and conditioning coach Hallie. Um, coach Hallie is a gem. That's probably how I would describe him best. Um, I remember this year at the beginning. I think it was the first time I walked in the weight room in um, in the fall. He said. Like he, he asks like questions with a very serious voice and he's usually joking but I think with me he's actually being serious and he just says, hey, are you excited for your third freshman year? So I've been termed like the four year freshman um, sort of because of not knowing my way around the weight room I guess. So stuck with that name for the rest of my career here. Yeah.